What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder, where we talk all things Marvel and MCU. I'm your host, Warren Thompson, and episode five of She-Hulk just came out. And the episode was all right, but by far the most exciting thing to happen in She-Hulk so far is the final scene of this episode, episode five, and the credits, specifically the cartoon sketches that are shown in the credits after each episode. This one in particular has a very, very interesting scene. Now, of course, before we really dive into this, if you have not seen She-Hulk episode five and you care about spoilers, now's your chance to click away. But if you've seen it and you simply don't care, let's dive into it. Now, right away, obviously, let's talk about the ending. Daredevil. Just as I predicted, Daredevil was not in this episode. He will be in episode six, but he was teased at the very end. We are introduced to Luke, a person who designs the outfits for superheroes. And as he says himself, his stuff is impeccable. And he designs top grade combat gear for the superheroes. As She-Hulk goes into her dressing room as he gives her her clothing, he walks out, sees a box, grabs it, and says, hello, this shouldn't be left out in the open. Tinsley, does client confidentiality mean nothing to you? He then puts the box down, and then we see that it's the helmet for Daredevil. Now, notice that it is completely yellow. Now, we knew this was going to happen. We knew that it was not going to be the same suit from the Netflix Daredevil series, but it was indeed going to be yellow, like his yellow comic suit. Now, this doesn't really come as a big shock. We've seen Daredevil literally in the trailers for She-Hulk. And not only have we seen Daredevil, but we've also seen Matt Murdock as well. So the ending for episode five of She-Hulk teases Daredevil is coming in the next episode, which answers our question, when is he going to be coming? We We've waited five episodes, but we have our answer. Now, let's move on to the credits. Like I mentioned, this was actually really, really cool and actually one of the best parts of She-Hulk so far. If you cut to the timestamp of 25 minutes and 32 seconds, you'll see something extremely cool. In this episode, we learned that Pug is a shoe collector and he asked Nikki to go with him to get a new pair of Iron Man 3 so he could get two pairs, one to wear and of course, one to collect. We didn't see this scene in the episode, but in the credits, while they're rolling, we do get this sketch. Now, in Pug's hands are the Iron Man 3s, but if you take a look at the background, there are a ton of different shoes for a ton of different superheroes and a lot of X-Men. So, of course, what we're going to do right now is break it all down. Which shoes belong to which different character? And big shout out to one, my live stream last night, and two, Greg, John, and Coy over at The Real Rejects. We all work together to figure these shoes out. Now, we've discovered who the vast majority of them are, but there are a few that we can't be 100% sure about right now that I would love your input for in the comments down below. In the very top right, it looks like we have shoes for America Chavez. Right below her, we can obviously see... Deadpool. Now we know Deadpool is coming to the MCU, hopefully in phase six, hopefully really soon. So it would make sense that he was there. Also, we are going to dive into are all of these superheroes for the shoes actually in the MCU after we go over each shoe. Now the shoe below Deadpool kind of looks like it could be the Silver Surfer. This is one that we're not 100% sure on, but it does indeed look like it could be the Silver Surfers. Now below those are Thor. O.G. Thor, and these are great, I would totally buy them. Now, moving over to the left, the shoes above Nikki's head seem to be cables. The pouches are kind of a giveaway there. Some people have also made the case for Storm from the animated series, but I'm thinking more cable. Now, to the left of that shoe, we have a little bit of a debate here. On my screen, the shoe looks like it's yellow and blue. However, when I talked to Greg, Coy, and John, they said that it looks like it is yellow and purple, which could be Thanos. However, if it is yellow and blue, this could be Wolverine. Those are his colors. Now, below that shoe, it is very obvious what shoe this is. It's a shoe for the thing. The thing of the Fantastic Four, Ben Grimm. Now, what's really interesting about this is there was a rumor going around before before She-Hulk even started that the thing was going to be introduced in the She-Hulk series that he would appear in one episode. 
And this shoe kind of makes us think that this rumor very well could happen. Of course, it's not confirmed and that is just a rumor and who knows what these shoes could mean, but this is 100% a shoe for the thing. And this gets even more exciting. Below the thing shoe, we can see Vision. Now Vision was obviously in one division, no surprise there, but below that shoe is a shoe for Cyclops and it looks awesome. I would totally buy and wear this shoe. So we have another X-Men here, another shoe for another X-Men, Cyclops. And what's really interesting about this is that there was concept art for Miss Marvel that showed somebody in cosplay at Avengers Con as Cyclops wearing his Cyclops X-Men uniform. So does that piece of concept art combined with this sketch in She-Hulk confirm that Cyclops and the X-Men do exist in the MCU? I'm thinking yes, but we'll talk about that more after we go over the shoes. And we have a ton of shoes left to break down, but first, a big thank you to Mint Mobile for sponsoring this video. Most people know about Mint Mobile because of Ryan Reynolds, but most people don't know about Mint Mobile's amazing quality. Now, I live in the mountains and service isn't too good. However, Mint Mobile sent me a free plan and I get better service with their plan than I do with my other provider. But what's crazy is their plan is so much cheaper. Mint Mobile offers wireless for just 15 bucks a month. They give you the best rate whether you're buying for one or a family. And at Mint Mobile, families start at only two lines. All plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Plus, Mint Mobile's modern family plan lets you mix and match data plans so everyone gets the amount of data that's right for them. And you can use your own phone and keep your same number and contacts. So to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, including the modern family plan, go to mintmobile.com slash cosmic. That's mintmobile.com slash cosmic. Cut your wireless bill down to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash cosmic. Now, below Cyclops' shoes are Black Panther. I think this one is fairly obvious. And below Black Panther is kind of hard to make out. We just see a white shoe with a little bit of green on it. It could be a reference to Doctor Doom, but it's really, really hard to make out. It also could be Kang, but like I said, it's hard to make out. Now, moving over to the next row, the one to the left of it at the very top, we see purple and pink shoes that have a big H on them, which seem to be clearly Hawkeye. His comic colors are purple and it's a big H. That seems fairly obvious. However, the ones below them are a bit tricky. This could be Dr. Doom representing the front of him, the two golden circles holding up his cape. Could be those two circles that we see there on the shoe, or this could be Frogman, and those two golden circles could be the eyes of Frogman. Now, Frogman is supposed to appear in the She-Hulk series, so I'm inclined to say Frogman. However, I'm pretty sure Doctor Doom is coming to the MCU pretty soon as well, so it could be either or. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now, below those shoes are the shoes for Bishop. It's very clear because it has that big M, and Bishop has the M over his eyes. Also, those are his colors. So we have another X-Men here. Now, below him is the green Goblin. We see the big pumpkin on top, and those are the green goblin colors. Below is fairly obvious, Captain Marvel. Below that is Spider-Man. Some people in my live stream were saying maybe the Scarlet Spider, and I respect the reach, but I am not sure. So it's either Spider-Man or the Scarlet Spider. Below them are, of course, Moon Knight. To the left of those, under the elbow of Pug, we can't really make out, but we'll move up to the green and yellow ones with the lightning bolt on it, and there we have Electro. Above Electro, we see a brown greenish shoe, but it has little wings on it, much like Namor has on his feet, so these are Namor shoes. The ones above Namor are pretty vague. They're just completely yellow, but this could be Power Man, Luke Cage. I'm guessing that's what it is. The ones above Luke Cage are very obvious. It's the Hulk. But the ones above the Hulk are kind of hard. Now, we do see a spade on the shoe, which could be Gambit, although these are not Gambit's colors. Perhaps he's coming to the MCU and they could be changing his colors. However, most of these other shoes seem to stick to the correct colors from either the comics or the animated series, so I'm not sure about this one. Now, moving over to the row on the left, we see red and white shoes. These are the OG comic Falcon colors, and as we can see there, it does have the wings that kind of form an F as well, so those are Falcons. Below that are Nova's shoes. We can see the three different dots there representing the stars, and a Nova project has been confirmed to be coming to the MCU, so these are most definitely 
Novas. Now, moving over to the left, we have Doctor Strange, the blue, red, and yellow ones. And below Doctor Strange, we have Ghost Rider. We can see the black shoes with the flames on top and the chain below the flames. We did get a Donnie Blaze in She-Hulk, a play off of Johnny Blaze, who of course is Ghost Rider. So perhaps the true Ghost Rider is coming to the MCU soon. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Now, at the next row over at the very top left, the brown and reddish slash orange shoes could be the OG Hank Pym Ant-Man suit, or they could be Wong shoes. Since it is next to Doctor Strange, let me know which one you think that is in the comments down below. The one below that, really hard to make out, can't really tell the shoe, but the one below that, right to the left of the neck of Pug, these seem to be speed balls. Now, it's really interesting that they would throw a speed ball in here, but perhaps speed ball could possibly be coming to the MCU. And those are all the shoes that we can really make out. Now, like I said, there are some really, really cool shoes in here, referencing a lot of really cool Marvel characters. The big question is, is this actually hinting that these characters could be coming into the MCU? I'm inclined to say yes. And here's the reason. Some of these shoes on here, many of them are for characters who are already in the MCU. Like the Hulk, Captain Marvel, Moon Knight, Vision, America Chavez, Hawkeye, they're all already in the MCU. Then we have Deadpool. We know that Deadpool is making his way to the MCU along with Nova as well. And of course we know that The Thing is coming with the Fantastic Four. So we have shoes for characters that are already in the MCU, for characters that we know are confirmed to be coming to the MCU. So it would only make sense that these other characters are going to be coming to the MCU as well. And that makes sense in itself because we know the X-Men are coming to the MCU, most likely in Phase 7, but this might be a little bit of a preview of which X-Men exactly are coming to the MCU. At least three of them that we can lock down, Cable, Bishop, and Cyclops, and perhaps that spade could be for Gambit. I do hope that this is a tease of some future heroes that are coming to the MCU. If not, it's just kind of a mean tease because Marvel Studios knows that we dissect every little thing that they put into these episodes. And also keep in mind that these sketches that roll during the credits, a lot of them that we've seen have actually played out in other episodes. We've seen the actual scenes for them. So we might actually end up seeing the scene where Pug and Nikki do go and buy shoes. And if that's the case, hopefully we do get a better look at all of these shoes that are behind them. So that is the breakdown of the ending of She-Hulk episode five and the credits of She-Hulk episode five. A lot of people were really trying to figure out what these are. I think we nailed most of them, but if you think any are different or you spotted any that we didn't figure out, let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video, please. And of course, subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest news and breakdowns. For live updates, you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.